I'm Johnny Drip, and we're here at Drip Ebor. Drip does really inspirational projects every day. Students of all ages and are coming in here and making cool shit. You know, from a simple pot to a hanging pot to, you know, not even a pot. I've had some crazy things made here. Started with a ball of clay, really, a long time ago. We had one wheel. I mean, that place fit like maybe 60 people sitting when we had it all said and done. I mean, this place is triple that. Ebor giveth, Ebor taketh. I always tell people we're just, we're louder than most. Uh, we are very different because we allow the community to really speak for what it wants, you know? For sure, you can go to another studio and just grab something and paint it. But it isn't drip, I and mean, drip has its own feeling, and it's, it's got its own life to it. It's it is a little bit of ebor. I mean, the customers come here to learn. You know, it's just all about knowledge, really, like like having fun, socializing, but really learning. You know, it is a school, a form of a school. You know, I never thought I would, you know, be this teacher that I am, but I'm good at it. So like, they really come for the mouth and to learn, and you know, to fail but to grow. I'm still developing my style. I, I like, I personally like edgy stuff, you know, anything streetwear related, definitely like hype beast style. But what the consumer likes at the moment is a very earthy, modern, simple type of pot, really. This place has grown because, you know, the students, they, they have their goals and their goals are to become better potters, right? We need more space to do it. We needed two studios for the people that were good to have their own space and for the newbies that, that they want to learn and socialize and do it. You needed both. Me being a potter, I want to make pots. Legit, it's the only reason why I got into this. I've referred to Drip as like a little being always and creating her and seeing her blossom on her own. You know, it's, it's very, it's impressive for me. 